Patriotic Energies and Technologies Company Limited, PetCL, a company wholly owned by the Oilfield Workers Trade Union, OWTU, has been selected as the preferred bidder of, for the sale of Petrotrin's Point of Pair refinery. The announcement was made by Finance Minister Com Imbert in Parliament on Friday. Minister Imbert said from the results for the request for proposals for the sale of the refinery, Patriotic was the only bidder that offered an upfront consideration of U.S. $700 million. Another bidder, Beowulf, offered a U.S. $42 million lease per month over a 15-year term, while a third company, Clash, indicated the only payment a government would be through taxes. Cabinet today agreed to select Patriotic Energies and Technologies Company Limited. A company wholly owned by the Oilfield Workers Trade Union as the preferred bidder for the sale of the Boracara Refining Company and Paria Fuel Trading Company. Patriotic Energies and Technologies has been given a month to present to the Evaluation Committee a comprehensive work plan on how it intends to complete the process going forward. Minister Imbert said Cabinet also agreed that PetCL be granted a three-year moratorium or all payments of principal on interest toward the purchase of the refinery. An interest towards the purchase of the refinery. Yeah. Yeah. Take that and a further 10 years at a fair market interest rate to complete the payment of the sum of US 7 million, 700 million it has offered for the refinery. The OWTU is celebrating the announcement. OWTU President General Ansel Roger says it's not a gift from the government and they deserve it. Speaking at a walkabout in Point Fortin this afternoon after hearing the news, Mr. Roger said this is for Trinidad and Tobago that the acquisition of the refinery for the OWTUs on our part is not just for the petrochemical workers, it is for the petrochemical workers, that is a fact. It's not just for the OWTU members, it is for the OWTU members, that is also a fact. But it is for and on behalf of all of the people of Trinidad. We did this with the focus on the country, knowing full well that if that refinery had gotten into any other hands, it would not have benefited Trinidad and Tobago. It would have struggled.